please like and comment on the video below. That will allow me to produce better quality videos and more of them in the future. So I'm stood at the gates of Ascot here. You can see they're closed. There's no way that I can get access to it. Or is there? Did you know that Ascot is actually a public heathland and you can get access to the race course on non-race course days? So as you've seen, we've just taken a very short walk from the main entrance down to this gate here. This is gate 28, and this is where you need to enter to get onto the heath. So once you reach that gate, walk through the entrance, and you'll find yourself guided uh, past the main buildings on your left uh, towards a tunnel. And this tunnel runs right underneath the race course and into the heath. So when you go through the tunnel and onto the heath, you can follow the road and then you come to the spectacular ground stand that we see behind us. Can't remember how much it cost, but an absolute fortune, probably about a quarter of a million or something to build this. Um, and you can access that so easily on non-race days. You just need to go to gate 28, go through the tunnel, out onto the heath. You can walk around the road. You can do the entire circuit if you like. It takes about an hour to walk around it. Um, but obviously you can find yourself right at the grandstand and the Royal Box and all of those things that are so quintessentially Ascot. So when you're on the heath, you'll notice that around the outside of the heath and on the inside of the race course is the perimeter road. This is what they use for emergency vehicles, TV crews and so on and so forth. But it makes for a great track for you to explore the entire heathland of Ascot race course. So here's something you may not be familiar with on Ascot Racecourse and that is actually part of the jumps course contains a cutaway. If we look over here what you'll notice is that there's actually part of the course missing and that is because it's behind you. The actual course is mounted on a trolley and is brought in and out of the course as and when needed and when it's not needed then it gives vehicular access to the rest of the race course. So when you walk around the heath, you'll find these signs and they contain maps on them which give several pointers to where you are actually on the race course and in the grounds. It also gives you pointers to where other entrances to the race course are. So there's an entrance at the golf club uh, by Kennel Gate. There are a number of places you can get access to the course, but it's a useful guide to guide you around the entire jumps course and background. It'll take you about an hour to complete an entire circuit.